Price ceiling is a maximum legally mandated price or sometimes also known as a maximum price. Now, why do governments actually implement a maximum price? They implement a maximum price if they find that the price of a good has become too expensive for most people to afford. And if that good is a very, very important good like a necessity, for example, if it is food or it is drugs, important pharmaceuticals, then the government may implement a maximum price. Sometimes a maximum price can also be seen as efforts by the government to reduce income inequity by making expensive goods more affordable and reachable to the lower income groups. Now, I'm going to actually explain price ceiling in the form of a demand and supply diagram so that you can understand how a price ceiling manifests itself in terms of a demand supply diagram. When we look at a price ceiling on a demand supply diagram, you will want to draw a horizontal line below the equilibrium price because for a maximum price to be effective, it has to be set to be below the equilibrium price. When you set a price ceiling to be below the equilibrium price, what happens to the quantity demanded? The quantity demanded of the good will actually increase because at a lower price, more people will be able to pay and buy the good. So the quantity demanded for the good will increase. But at a lower price, what do you think producers will do? They will be less willing to provide for the good at a lower price. So this will cause the quantity supplied to go down from Q0 to QS, which will in the end cause a shortage of QS, QD. So why is a shortage a problem? Now, if we think of the good being an essential good, like for example, if we are talking about food, or we're talking about water, or we are talking about important pharmaceuticals, when there is a shortage, what will people do? Will they be happy that you know, they can't get access to the good? People who are still able to pay for the good, even if there is, a, there is a shortage, they will try to explore more creative ways to obtain the good, for example, through a black market. And of course, in the black market, the prices will be even higher than the original equilibrium price because illegal sellers of the good will want to be compensated for the risks that they are taking for breaking the law. And so, would this actually be a more desirable outcome to have a black market forming as a result of this price ceiling? So an example of a real-world case of the price ceiling would be how India has actually placed price ceilings on important drugs. And this has actually caused various drugs to be in shortage. So at this point, I guess we are still unclear whether price ceiling in a real-world application is considered to be desirable.